best advice you have received in medicine i think the best advice would have been don't do it but i didn't receive it but <laughs> you know how in college first 3 4 months of the new year is obviously like you know uh, all those cultural activities <laughs> yeah. and the rest of the 8 9 months are about studying i used to stay in the hostel so i had that experience so it was a great great time i think the best memories of life have been made so i'll tell you the problem is that with mbbs or bds any medical field are by the problem is that you don't end up developing any other skill that's like, so true not 100% doctors are going to be successful right there are going to probably one me i could be one of them now the problem is that after being in this field for 10 years if you ask me ke kal ja ke koi tum business karo i don't know jack shit about it so dnb and md are at par with each other i'm sure a lot of people might be asking yeah, yeah, like 100%, 100% and like people ask me ki tu md kyun nahi kiya dnb kyun kar raha hai so i have to sit and explain that you know dnb and md are at par hmm. the only difference is that md is mostly in a medical college dnb is mostly in a corporate hospital there are dnb is in medical colleges but very rare so ask me one thing i want to change in medicine is to not have this like you know in abroad the constant fear of yeah like abroad people are not doctors are not worried about getting beaten up why are we worried your all time favorite movie welcome <laughs> selling it thoda hi everyone welcome back to a brand new episode of the math therapy sessions podcast our guest for today is dr kamran dalwai he completed his mbbs from navi mumbai and dch from college of physicians and surgeons mumbai he is currently in final year second year dnb in pediatrics from neotia bagirat women and child care center kolkata the audio podcast is available on spotify and anchor the links to that in the description down below drop a like if you like this video and consider subscribing if you end up loving it and also don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the podcast till then enjoy the episode So Dr. Kamran how's the DNB experience DNB is been good I am doing my DNB in Kolkata mm-hmm. so going to a whole new city and especially something like Kolkata which has a different culture altogether is being a d- bit difficult but dnb all together it's damn good like i'm getting a lot of exposure mm-hmm. uh, the hospital i'm working in right now has is really good nicu which i really like about and uh, the exposure the patient flow is damn good so it's been good it's bit hectic because you know every day itna so the duty hours are too hectic and apart from that we have to study presentation you know how it is right and all those conferences this that so it's very hectic but it is how it is so how's uh, kolkata been so far i mean is it very uh-huh. similar to bombay or completely uh-huh. different time to come back <laughs> least i can say but honestly it's not a bad city the thing is that my hospital has gotten this program for the first time okay. dnb residency okay so it's only me and one more primary dnb guy who both of us are on the same page mm-hmm. there, there are not many people like you know in generally when you go to a new city to do your post graduation there are a lot of people in the hospital who are doing the same thing like you so you have a lot of company you know there are different departments and my hospital is only pediatrics and gynec okay so the and gynec did not have a seat when i joined so it was just the two of us so it's kind of boring but yeah city is not bad it's good why did you choose to do dnb after dch ah uh, so the thing is i had <clears throat> i'm like my eventual plan is to settle in a place like bombay okay so in bombay if you are doing dch it's you can have your own private practice but today if you look at the world outside everyone mm. has a health insurance policy mm. and everyone wants to go to a corporate hospital so i think like 5 years 10 years down the line all these private setups all these small hospitals are going to be shut okay. or are they are already shut jo thode bode bache hai wo bhi i think they'll be uh, shut in the next 5 10 years there are many reasons behind it firstly that people don't mind spending because they have an insurance mm-hmm. secondly in small hospitals problems like getting beaten up are more you know common the, yeah, more common because doctors face we'll speak about it in detail later but in general like you know this uh, people people are like theek hai apna salary इनकम आएगा पीस है दिमाग को एंड यू आर वर्किंग इन अ कॉर्पोरेट सेटअप एंड थिंग्स आर गोइंग स्मूथ व्हाट यू मीन इज द कॉर्पोरेट द वे इज द फ्यूचर सो द थिंग इज या अ कॉर्पोरेट इज द फ्यूचर बट एज अ डॉक्टर इफ यू आस्क मी आई वुड लव टू हैव माय ओन प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस लाइक यू नो बीइंग इन अ कॉर्पोरेट बेसिकली यू आर वर्किंग अंडर समवन नॉट अंडर समवन लाइक इवन इफ यू आर अ कंसलटेंट बाय योरसेल्फ यू आर वर्किंग फॉर द हॉस्पिटल राइट लाइक यू नो कल अगर यू हैव सो मेनी पेशेंट्स पीपल आर गोइंग टू टेल यू इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल इट्स नॉट बिकॉज़ ऑफ यू राइट सो देयर इज नो क्रेडिट टू योर नेम But so the kick that you get in a private practice, I think this is too early for me to say all this. But yes. this is what I've been seeing around. No, absolutely. absolutely. But but that is different. Yeah. In corporate, that is not there. It's yeah. always going to be your patient, not your hospital patient. Right. But because the fact that people are okay with spending money in a corporate hospital, but right. not sorry, but not in a private setup, is why 
doctors are shifting from private practice to corporate practice okay and for that i think you know to get a consultancy in a good hospital dnb is very important okay and uh, to be very honest like dch is not at par with md so basically dch is diploma so it's 2 years md is 3 years so that thing is always there like so how different is it from M- like you know doing an md dch or dnb uh dnb so dnb so dnb and md are at par with each other i'm sure a lot of people might be asking yeah, yeah, like hundred percent and like people ask me ki tu md kyun nahi kiya dnb kyun kar raha hai so i have to sit and explain that you know dnb and md are at par hmm. the only difference is that md is mostly in a medical college okay dnb is mostly in a corporate hospital there are tnbs in medical colleges but very rare and uh, there are a few more differences like you know getting in dnb is easier and getting out is difficult md getting in is difficult and getting out is easier okay why why so because uh, dnb passing rate is very low like okay. for pediatrics it's around 20 to 30% so that's damn bad and md the passing rate is damn good even if you don't pass in the first attempt 6 months later you definitely pass and okay. dnb it's okay. not like that. dnb i know people who uh, finished their course like their residency and they've not cleared the exit exam for 7 years 8 years that's right. that's how bad it is mm. so fingers crossed i still have to give that but uh, yeah so that is the difference and the main difference is that because it's in a corporate hospital mm-hmm. if you are in a surgical branch you don't get a lot of hands on procedures or surgeries because if someone like you is going to a corporate hospital you are paying 50 lakhs or something which can be done in 5 lakhs in other hospital you wouldn't want a resident to touch you right it's going to be the consultant senior consultant mm. whereas in medical hall it's not like that you know how it works so there you get a lot of experience. so that we come down to the question why i chose pediatrics mm. because i was getting a diploma initially i wanted to i think we are going very hey why uh, initially i wanted to do ophthal we will come to it later okay so that's why so in a non surgical branch it really does not matter to conclude it uh, doing dnb in a non surgical branch does not matter if it is a surgical branch you should always choose ms so ophthal how difficult was it to get into dnb how was the whole uh, preparation phase for you like the most difficult part about getting in any course right now is the reservation reservation <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest mm. and apart from that theek hai covid aa gaya tha beech mein so we had a lot of uh, piled up batches so it got really tough right but and that probably why i ended up in kolkata so <laughs> so that's how is it exactly how you thought it will be uh, doing dnb or like before you join yeah, you must be having, having some, some uh, assumption about it so the thing is like you know before you are starting something new hmm. you have 10 pictures of 10 different things right each different area hmm. so there are few areas which were way better than what i was expecting right and i was really happy about it and there were few areas which were like you know not up to the mark hmm. that is always there you don't get 100% anywhere you go everywhere you go so that is always going to be there but i am more than happy that are this is other work better than what i was expecting and if you were like you know not up to the mark so that's right. okay i think that is always there like you know mm-hmm. if i was in some other place probably even in bombay ye hota wo nahi hota wo hota hai that's going to be there so it's been more more a more positive experience for you than uh, definitely positive it's been a completely different experience i have had my own highs and lows and it's it's been a roller coaster like the right. last year has been really a roller coaster like you know it's so before doing dnb you did dch yeah, yeah. so what were your reasons for doing dch first ah uh, honestly basically dch is pediatrics so honestly i never wanted to do pediatrics okay. like pediatrics was not even my last option it was not not even my last option okay. like in my head i would do gynec but not pediatrics <laughs> so that's how bad it was and then uh, my options were on the surgical side of thal hmm non surgical side general medicine like adult medicine hmm. and somehow things happened like you know uh, i gave my neat and after that uh, my la- rank was not that great to be very honest and i was not getting an md okay and uh, so medicine does not have diploma so hmm. medicine and surgery general medicine general surgery does not have an it does not have a diploma okay. it's just md md and ms right so my only option left was ophthal like i said before in ophthal like i said before ophthal is a surgical branch Okay. So the whole idea of doing DC, uh, sorry, D of thal and then DNB would not be a great idea. Mm. So that's why, and then the other option left in, left in a non-surgical branch was uh, non non-surgical branches were like dermat, radio, and pediatrics. Mm. And also my chacho happens to be a pediatrician; he's a developmental pediatrician. So I thought, why not this? And the thing with pediatrics was, I realized later that you know it's a small subject. 
it's out of the 19 subjects pediatrics is a very small subject though it's in final year but it's a very small subject, so you don't really give so much importance to it in during fine. mbbs days during mbbs because okay. the mbbs final year is like general medicine general surgery general medicine general surgery hmm. so in your head you are only worried about those, those are huge subjects right. and they carry a lot of marks so you are really worried about passing those and dimag mein aisa tha ki theek hai pediatrics ho jayega it's more or less medicine right so that's why you don't really focus on pedia so i think any uh, medical student who's in finally you ask them he'll either tell you general medicine or general surgery okay now i realize the reason being that you are studying those subjects you are so worried about passing hmm. and you are so much into it that's why you end up just thinking that, and i love general surgery i love general surgery shino sir was my teacher i used to go for him for classes or a teacher best teacher i've come across in my life and uh, he so i really loved surgery but uh, for other reasons whatever then i ended up choosing pediatrics so shout out shout out to him yeah yeah 100% 100% and uh, so that's how i ended up choosing so pediatrics so your chacha being a pediatrician yeah, did yeah. that influence your decision on being yeah definitely definitely but uh, he is into completely a different thing right now he's doing developmental pediatrics so he's been doing that and he's been doing really well for the past i think 18 years now right 18 19 years so yeah but like you must have seen because yeah yeah definitely when we're doing definitely. mbbs then definitely like, he, he used to be my inspiration like hmm. he we stay in the same house and right. he's a doctor and of course he's a, a brilliant uh, doctor but that always used to be an inspiration right. so that right. thing was always there. that's why i told you so when i realized that you know i can do pediatrics then i was like why not hmm. and then i spoke to so i spoke to a few people and then in my head you know whenever i want to do something new i always try to choose three people to speak to like one who's just done it hmm. one who's doing it and one who's done it 10 years back wow yeah so that's how i that's how we function yeah. <laughs> so i spoke to a guy who was doing his residency i spoke to a guy who had just passed out i spoke to someone who had done it 10 years back so and you get to know its past its present condition and yeah. what it might lead yeah. to yeah yeah so you get a good idea of what kind mm-hmm. of life you would have this that and i spoke to people and then i just i and honestly i took this decision i had to take in like within 12 hours or something <laughs> so I was awake the whole night speaking to people, finding of this, that, this, and I was just let's do it. And honestly, first four five months were not great. Like you know, I didn't know what I was doing with my life, and then now I'm loving it. Like given an option, I'll do it again. That's where I am right now. So, what was the best experience so far while doing DCH? Best experience in while doing DCH, like the patient. Yeah, patient wise, any or or the best thing you learned while doing DCH. Honestly, there was a lot to learn because, I, like I told you, we never focused on pediatrics, so everything was new in DCH, and it was a great experience. And I was working under Dr. Bakul sir, and he's he's been the Central IIB president, so he's really his knowledge is 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 all. Yeah, he's one of those people like you know who's had like crazy patient flow to himself and that kind of doctor. So I have had a brilliant experience, and that him. also inspires you. Like hundred percent. When you see success, with, yeah, hundred percent. Like looking at him. and look and you know what looking at the people having so much confidence in him hmm. is what you know helps you like you know itna samne se to see such a response is i think a, a brilliant thing to have according to you what mis- mistakes can be avoided while doing dch or what you could have avoided or handled better i think like you know the thing with residency is you have to do so many you have to do too many things at a time hmm. and i am not saying it is like important. multitasking multitasking in the sense that you have heavy hectic duty hours you are supposed to like i told you with how does in dnb you are supposed to be studying you mm. have an important exam coming up mm. you have to focus on a few procedures and get hands on and make sure that you are good at it and uh, so honestly if you ask me nari bhai that you know uh, will i uh, suggest anyone to do dch dnb mm. or just because that was my follow up question according to you who should do dch who should do dnb or what is your take on the whole thing see so the thing is you either do a md or dnb directly which is 3 years okay or you do dcs then you so my my thing is i've done dch so dnb is also 3 years md is also 3 years right but because i've done dch for me it is 2 years it becomes 2 years yeah. yeah so there are two routes you directly either take the 3 year thing or you take the 2 2 year thing mm. so i would suggest each and everyone please do not take this 2 2 year thing it really get directly go out. for dnb or yeah, yeah direct if you no i am doing dnb or md both are the same thing but yeah, but directly. i'm saying do yeah, the three yeah, or yeah. three because uh, i got into dch as soon as i finished my mbbs but then after that covid happened or for whatever reasons i got it got delayed by two years in between so mm-hmm. that's really you know you are not you know yahan ka na waka and you're just stuck in between and then you end up thinking that chhodna dnb karna hai ki koi fellowship kar lo but yeah. that was not your mistake i mean wo jo 
pandemic ka situation yeah. tha yeah. no but what happens is that i'll tell you that once you finished your dch you're working as a proper pediatrician hmm. you have you you have residents under you and then now when you're doing dnb you've gone back to your residency days right so that's a little bit you know you're going to become a junior yeah you're going to become a junior so yeah. i'm not saying it's a bad thing or something but why do you want that stress for four years when you can finish it in three years and other one or two years you end up wasting in between so it just becomes a long process so you can do dch and Start be practicing. okay with that yeah be yeah, okay yeah, with if that. you're if you're planning to do just dch great idea but then your options are reduced right like like you said like cop like working in a corporate or more you or get less, less prefer- more or preference more or yeah, yeah yeah in bombay but then like you want to go in a private practice tomorrow so dch and then directly dch this is more than enough yeah if you want to do private practice if you're sure that you don't want to you know uh, get into uh, corporate practice then dch so, so like how enough. different is uh, dch from dnb work, in your experience work work wise any like major difference between bo- both what you have felt while doing uh, both of them right now honestly there's not much difference okay it's just the uh, i think i don't know if it is the right term the branding that matters naam ke aage tnb lag gaya to hai by tnb as ours or kuch nahi it's it's more or less the same mm-hmm. and honestly anything you do is experience like if i wasn't doing dnb i would still be working somewhere and probably doing the same thing and gaining experience so i am gaining experience and getting a degree so why not so <laughs> do you believe pediatrics is the most rewarding specialty in medicine rewarding in what sense uh personal satisfaction i mean lot of ways it can be financial can be a lot of things but personally for you has it been rewarding and do you feel it's the most rewarding uh, both say uh, financially see honestly and i feel uh, that you know uh, grass is always greener on the other side yeah that is that is true like i know my advantages and disadvantages but i only know the advantages you have mm-hmm. so i'm always going to feel like oh ari bhai ka line acha hai barabar ari bhai jo kare wo karna chahiye tha sahi so that is because i don't know what you're going through i Barabha. just know i'm just looking at the good things mm-hmm. but uh, talking about rewarding things it's it's good like you know of course there have been times where you know uh, a really bad child comes out of something and the parents are really really like you know uh, grateful and thankful and having said that there have been times where there are parents who are ready to beat you up so like you have experienced those yeah yeah things? of course of course unfortunately i don't know fortunately or not but yeah i think you should get into martial arts also like you know like <laughs> as along with the I think every doctor should learn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's time. Uh, it's time. Every doctor should learn. <laughs> as I am talking about, uh, we'll not get into it. So, but it's been bad. Yeah. So I'll tell you honestly, uh, what has happened right now, na? And I think. Uh, but why do you f- feel people have become so violent recently? I mean, towards doctors. What's your take on that? So I think na, more or less, Bollywood is responsible for this. Bollywood. Yeah, like you know they've the uh, interpretation. The interpretation they've just portrayed. लाइक यू नो कि डॉक्टर्स तो लूटने के लिए बैठे हैं मतलब आई डोंट नो लाइक पीपल हैव अ माइंड सेट नाउ दैट हजार रुपए दिए ना बच्चा ठीक करके दे दे नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स नॉट अ मशीन लाइक आई हैव टोल्ड दिस टू सो मेनी पीपल इट्स नॉट अ बाइक कि पाना टाइट कर दिया अच्छा हो गया चले गए लेके आई कैंट टेल यू कि दो दिन लगेगा चार दिन लगेगा दस दिन लगेगा यू नो पीपल इन द गेटिंग एडमिटेड द क्वेश्चन इज सर कितना टाइम लगेगा आई सेट कि मैं अलग हूँ आप अलग है आपका बच्चा अलग है किसी और का बच्चा अलग है बराबर सबको दवाई तो सेम जाएगा बट इसको कितना टाइम लगेगा ठीक होने इसको कितना ठीक होगा टाइम आई कैन नॉट टेल यू इफ आई एम टेलिंग आई एम लाइंग टू यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइ आई विल बट पीपल द एटीट्यूड ऑफ पीपल हैज रियली लाइक दे वुड इन माइंड स्टैंडिंग इन ए लाइन टू ईट पाव भाजी ऑन द रोड बट डॉक्टर के पास लाइन में कहना नहीं नहीं ये तो डॉक्टर का गलती है सुबह में लेट उठा होगा लेट आया है हम लोग को बाहर बिठा के रखा है एवरी थिंग इज आई डोंट नो लाइक आई एम आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू ब्लेम गेम और समथिंग बट इट जिस बिकम इट बिकम सो टॉक्सिक लाइक आई डेल यू ऑनेस्टली अरीब भाई इफ यू आस्क मी वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज इन मेडिसिन इज टू नॉट हैव दिस लाइक यू नो इन लाइक अब्रॉड कॉन्स्टेंट फे ऑफ या लाइक अब्रॉड पीपल आर नॉट डॉक्टर्स आर नॉट वरीड अबाउट गेटिंग बीटन अप वाई आर वी वरीड वॉट आर वी डूइंग रॉन्ग बट डोंट यू डोंट यू थिंक देर हैज बीन अ शिफ्ट लाइक इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डेकेज वेर सम डॉक्टर्स हैव और मोर हैव बिकम कम लाइक यू नो सी बट दैट इज दैट इज इन एवरी बिजनेस ना हरी भाई अगर कल को सलमान खान या किसी का मूवी फ्लॉप जाता है यू डोंट गो टू बीट हेम अपना बिकॉज यू पेड फॉर द टिकट आई एम नॉट सेंग सी दिस कम्स डाउन टू योर दैट्स लाइक कैटेगराइजिंग यू कैनॉट डू दैट लाइक ऑफकोर्स हंड्रेड परसेंट आई एम नॉट डिनाइंग इट एट ऑल प्रॉब्लली मोर देन द नंबर यू आर सेंग हैव बीन मिस यूज आई हैव मिस यूज द प्रोफेशन और वॉट एवर बट पीपल कमिंग एंड टेलिंग मी दैट इट इज नोबल प्रोफेशन यू कैनॉट चार्ज is wrong on their part tomorrow i want to buy a car is the government going to give it to me for free yeah i am going to pay for it 
so then why am i not getting paid for my work i'm doing a so, service like what do you think is the um, solution for it is it um, i don't know the government has to do something like improve the healthcare infrastructure i don't know probably I mean, yeah like you see i'll tell you most of the time doctors have been uh, beaten up it's been the hospital's fault not even the doctor's fault like if you uh, go back Lack and check retrospectively yeah yeah you, spe- you check retrospectively in the hospital and all ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर खत्म हो गया ऑक्सीजन अभी ये तो डॉक्टर का हेडेक नहीं है ना वो क्या क्या देखेगा पेशेंट को भी संभालेगा मार खाने से भी बचेगा और ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर भरा है कि नहीं वो भी तो कैसे चलेगा दिस इज द हॉस्पिटल फॉल्ट आई एम जस्ट वेरी वेग लाइक वेगली आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू पिन पॉइंट एनी थिंग बट दैट हाउ इट इज लाइक एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट आई एम नॉट डिनाइंग द फैक्ट दैट यू नो देर माइट हैव बीन सम नेग्लिजेंस एंड इट इज नॉट जस्टिफाइड नो मैटर वॉट आई अग्री बट इन द पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स वॉट एवर आई हैव सीन वॉट एवर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट हैज हैपन्ड within my range of vision i'm not talking about something that has happened with someone else yeah that's true it's yeah. your it's your personal experience yeah. and that's i'm right. telling you that i have seen where doctor ko mara hai police case hua hai post mortem hua hai fir pata chala hai doctor ko koi mistake nahi hai hmm. but what about the mental trauma that you gave that doctor barabar what about the like you know i i am not taking names but that doctor had to he went on a leave for the next 10 days and he's a very senior pediatrician and a very nice pediatrician matlab wo hote na ke ek ghanta patient ko extra nahi rakhenge ek paisa extra nahi denge ek dawai extra nahi waise type of if they are going through this and then you cannot blame the doctors tomorrow i'll tell you something what has happened now like all these senior doctors they have stopped taking the risk they would have otherwise mm. and this is the patient's loss trust me matlab for example x y z doctor very senior very um experienced and knows a lot of it and whatever he could have saved the child but usko malum hai agar ye nahi bachana jabki the patient has come to in gasping pata hai agar nahi bacha to ye log mere ko maarne ke layenge to he just send it to a big hospital corporate hospital fir ye us time pe fir patient bolega ki ha ye to bade hospital mein bech ke kharcha kar raha hai are wo tumko iske liye nahi le raha kyunki he knows how you will behave after you uh, you know after things go here hmm. that's why people have Makes stopped sense, taking yeah. the risk which is the patient's loss they are not realizing right now but maybe 10 years down the line everyone is everyone all the senior people have which is not wrong kisko 70 saal ki umar mein thappad khane ka shauk hai yaar barabar apna after giving their life but there has been a systematic increase in uh, like you no know, uh, slowly slowly the mal practice is happening in the like i'm not like there are both sides I agree, which, I agree. which gets exaggerated by bollywood like you said yeah like so, you know i don't know yaar matlab these people will charge whatever they feel like for the movies एंड फिर डॉक्टर्स का पिक्चराइजेशन करेंगे भाई ये तो पैसे के लिए काम करता है ये करता है यू नो द प्रॉब्लम इज ना वी हैव टू थिंक वन थाउजेंड टाइम बिफोर राइटिंग एनी टेस्ट कि कल को कोई फोटो निकाल के ना बोल दिए जबरदस्ती करा है इसका लैब से कुछ है ये वो दैट्स अ वैड इट एज बिकम यू नो द माई प्रॉब्लम इज कितने चीज पे फोकस करने का है शुड वी फोकस ऑन ट्रीटिंग द पेशेंट शुड वी फोकस ऑन सेविंग आर सेल्स फ्रॉम स्लैब्स और शुड वी फोकस ऑन कीपिंग अ पिक्चर क्लीन वॉट वाई इज दिस रिक्वायर्ड आई एम डूइंग माई वर्क आई हैव डन माई स्टडीज I have gained the experience. Mm. I am looking after your child or a patient, or whatever, and I am doing whatever the best I can do. Why do I have to be worried about getting beaten up? Why do I have to be worried? Yeah, not not every doctor thinks like you, like you know, because like you have a different personal experience. Someone else will. In my personal experience, I have seen a systematic growth in uh, like you know, and that is why there's a there's a there's a lack of faith. Hundred percent between 100%. the patient, the doctor. Like now. my grandfather was also a doctor, hmm. and what the family says that you know, yeah, people used to have a lot of faith. That's what I'm saying. You know, these people have been. आग बंद करके के हम्म यकीन करते थे कि इन्होंने जो बोला है वो होगा. तो सही है. अभी नहीं है. आजकल अभी नहीं है. अभी now when I'm when I'm telling a patient something, I have to prove it to him. Why is it like that? Hmm. Why is it not like that? He'll take my viva. he'll make sure if i'm good doctor or not hmm. then he'll give me a marks based on that and then he'll decide ki ye mere bacche ke liye jo bola hai sahi hai do you face that often uh, that is probably because i'm quite young right now but yes hmm. like i for the first 5 minutes they are trying to gauge how good he is hmm. and then after that they decide whether they are going to follow what i tell them or not which is okay that's that's a part of a thing that's i'm i'm not worried about that i'm just worried about the fact that generally also like other seniors also they, there is always this question in their head which is not wrong hmm. but somewhere somewhere ari bhai you need to you know have faith i'm not saying i have blind faith of course take second opinion take third opinion take 10th opinion right it's justified but if you don't know don't like i have had patients like you know you give them something you tell them something they'll do something they want they'll come back to you after 5 days कि ये तो आप बता के कुछ ठीक नहीं हुआ एंड देन यू आज तक ये सब ये था नहीं नहीं ये तो अभी खरीदा नहीं है मुझे लगा जरूरत नहीं है 
how do you deal with this like, and it hurts especially it hurts. If, if you're doing all the right things yeah and you're lucky if they accept that they've not taken it mm. sometimes you have to look at the patient and then judge that ha is not dawai liya hi nahi hai that's the most difficult part that's that's a topic which we can talk for hours uh, yeah, 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 so sorry. Uh, <laughs> with that do you think uh, i mean do you have any success like any success story uh, involving kids in this last few years of your experience i mean there are many but i think one i can think of is the recent one okay i, I don't know if i can say it yeah i mean without taking names you can yeah so it's just so an experience so, for so you. we had a, like a preterm baby not very preterm like 33 34 weeks in the nursery and uh, like doing fine okay otherwise suddenly crashed like uh, when we were when we saw the patient he was paper white there was no heart rate no respiration nothing mm. and uh, so yeah it was quite bad I'm, i don't want to get into the details of it but there was more or less like he he was he crashed and then we had to resuscitate him and he got out of it wow and he we got him back after i'm not mentioning the minutes or whatever after a point and it was really like all of us had goosebumps yeah like, of course probably, like you know, probably like my seniors have seen it more often but so the first time i had you seen, saw it yeah I, i am really trying to control myself and not giving the details if i give the details then you will know the but must have been very emotional for you like yeah, you emotion, know yeah, 100% seeing someone come back yeah, this was recent like in the last two months mm-hmm. uh, one month and uh, it was uh, and suddenly to see his heart rate touch 140 it was unbelievable Wow, that's crazy. So, what's like the best thing you feel about being a pediatrician? Ah, uh, so basically, I'm really inclined towards newborns mm-hmm. and the whole concept of neonatology, mm-hmm. and probably that's where I'm going to do my fellowship in. Okay. And uh, so, I really, I I don't know, I really like the uh, initial. So, there's this golden minute we have. I don't know if you've heard about it. Just when the baby is born, mm-hmm. the first minute we call it the golden minute. Golden minute. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so basically the first cry. Hmm. that for you it might just be a for a non medical it might just be a cry but for us it is very important because we so know the start of the cry is the gold it's no, the so the minute after the child is born okay so uh, the t- like when he is out that one whole minute is the golden minute okay so if for example we'll talk about uh child is born he's not crying there's no respiration there's no heart rate so i have that one minute to mm-hmm. get him back mm-hmm. because that is the development like you know that is a developing period so if he does not get enough blood supply within that one minute to the brain that can hamper his rest uh, that can hamper rest of his life wow so if for example we'll talk about the good and the bad part if for example you're not able to resuscitate or you don't do it properly that one minute so there will be a part of the brain that has not gotten blood supply mm. and that part of the brain whatever the function is won't be done properly for the rest of the life so that's how critical that, it is yeah it's and if you do everything on time and get him back to uh, like get his circulation back get his respiration back everything i'm just using in words so then he's going to be good for the rest of the life that that kick is something else and But you know that one minute is so vital yeah and there are it so besides many things besides his life entire yeah, life like so we have to like you know we have a lot of like i'm really glad about the fact that in the past few years there have been so many uh, workshops so many like you know simulation labs who taught us how to do it on mannequins and have trained us so artificially well. yeah yeah that okay. mannequin you can feel the heartbeat you can uh, intubate the mannequin you can do everything you want you can do everything it's mind blowing this has i think happened in the am i audible yeah, yeah this this has come up in the past few years and it's mind blowing like you know you can do whatever you want you can give injection you can push in adrenaline whatever you want and just you can see the heart rate change after the effect of the medicine like that's how far medicine has come to yeah, yeah, yeah. we are in a non surgical branch so we don't have a lot of procedures <laughs> and all but for us all this is like a huge uh, kick <laughs> having pediatricians around you while you were doing mbbs influence your decision in any way Honestly, or it does not i think it does like i'll tell you uh I told you I like medicine and of them that is because I had friends who were doing that. Okay. <laughs> and I like it. So that's why I got. <laughs> so yeah, so it does but again like I told you I never wanted to do pediatrics so I was not thinking about that way. Mm. Of course one of my close friends was a pediatrician at that point also. But you also but, had a chacha also so yeah. Yeah, yeah but I and my chacha at home obviously that is that has always been yeah. there. And uh, so that was the end uh, it did influence but honestly like you know by the end of it you end up where you have to I feel. Mm. One interesting thing which I wanted to ask you: How do you communicate with small kids who cannot talk? 
or communicate how do you like so yeah i get this quite often but the thing is ah uh, you don't need to communicate to be honest you have to be good at your clinical examination mm-hmm. you have to you have, you have the mother for the history if you if that those two things are more than enough mm. and then that is your clinical judgment after that that is how you define a good pediatrician like you know it's i don't want the baby to speak or tell me what is happening i have to be good enough to find out what is wrong and when you examine like obviously pata chalega na ki kya ho raha hai pet mein kya ho raha hai so somehow like it's basically a clinical judgment i don't know how to define it mm. like yeah in dentistry uh, when we have kids uh, patients it's very important to handle the families of the kid very important so is it the same in yeah, um, yeah. it's too stressful like you know i don't know maybe i am not blaming the parents or something but it gets too hectic like you know you have to convince them what you are doing you have to tell them what you are which is not wrong right. but uh, i like you know uh, jaise in adults you are just directly speaking to the patient here you have to convince the whole family pehle mummy daddy aake baat karenge fir yeah. dada dadi aayenge dad ke side ke dada dadi aayenge mummy ke side ke chacha chachi ye sab to hote rehta but i think it's a part and parcel it's okay after a point you start to enjoy it as yeah, i do because I the entire, talking, because, en- because the entire family starts trusting you yeah, yeah that is true so also uh, a lot of people call pediatrics the an end branch okay what's your take on that end branch probably yeah but there are like you know obviously there is neurology nephrology cardiology gastroenterology after pediatrics in pediatrics yeah, yeah of course okay dm mm. and uh, the place i'm where i'm working right now the faculty is too good mm. all of them are dm pediatric super specialty wow that is insane i think even in so you still have something more to do after your dm <laughs> i really would want to do a dm but i don't have the energy so i'll probably do a fellowship or something okay but uh, you might after some time you you never know probably I don't know. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a end branch you can say. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it's not like there are no uh, there's no more option to like there like there is there are options to do more if you want to. There is super, because obviously it's a broad specialty. You can do a super specialty, but I think there are not it depends on what you want basically in your life. If you want to have a OPD of 50 60 patients a day, hmm. then you better stick to general pediatrics. If you want to have lesser patients and more like quality patients then you do a super specialty and you stick to like nephro cardio gastro or something like that okay and right now i think in pediatrics if you talk about the flourishing branch one is neonatology which i really love and i have been new about neonatology is newborn hmm. so basically now the advancement and the everything has changed so far so good like you know uh, we've been saving kids who are 550 grams 600 grams and they are doing well right so now the bracket is increasing on this side hmm. because on the other side it's only till 12 years so on this side it has been increasing and that bla- branch is li- really been flourishing and the second one is i am not being biased but developmental pediatrics okay my chacha and uh, he developmental pediatrics is basically like autism learning disorders and all of that hmm. in the past few years there has been an exponential growth in all of this trust hmm. me exponential growth so the thing is that this uh I don't know this concept. Uh, like people took really long. Like, just अपने बड़ों में mental health को लेके people have that taboo. I think somewhere, depression. हाँ कि नहीं ऐसे कैसे क्यों ये हो? I think somewhere बच्चों में भी ऐसा होता है. Like people were not earlier people were not ready to accept कि हाँ मेरे बच्चे को autism है. हाँ मेरे बच्चे को learning disorder है. नहीं वो तो आज like तारे ज़मीन पर. Best example. So right now I am glad that parents are willing to accept the fact and take therapy and treatment for it. and honestly it's increased because i am sure you've seen kids are uh, with you know all phones and tablets and ipads and whatever and somewhere this is we'll talk about it. we can go on about it for hours i think i'll stop but basically all this being the reason it has really increased now and people are aware and so yeah so that's a very so then you tend to work in tandem with speech i think speech therapists speech audiologists, audiologists, audiologists and then you guys can have a proper team where you can treat uh, all kids with you know all these disorders and yeah so th- that's what he's doing hmm. he has everything on one roof we have all of it okay so he has yeah so everything it includes speech therapy audiology physiotherapy occupational therapy and uh, whatever so there's a set program for everyone and then that's how it works given a chance would you uh, do pediatrics again general pediatrics yeah like uh, 100% or you would go to like say like like if given an option like general surgery or general medicine now i cannot imagine myself doing anything else i would do this again and again and mind 
because probably i would not make the mistakes i did while doing pediatrics like mm. my initial uh, residency mm. but I, i would 100% do pediatrics again okay so, so i'm liking it now <laughs> so we go back to your mbbs days and the very first question i want to ask you is why did you choose to become a doctor in the first place i know you have a, a lot of doctors in your family but then what was your personal uh, reason to do oh uh, i don't know why honestly my mom used to ask me that you know do you like machines or do you like humans it's very mm. lame i know do you like machines or do you like humans okay so i i am not the person who can sit oh, in the uh, for doctors and engineering yeah acha <laughs> <laughs> like you know if you want to do something else or you want to do biology so she used to be like do you like machines or do you like humans mm. I said, not like I love humans, but I don't like machines either. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so the thing is, I cannot sit in a front of in front of a laptop or mm. do something like very sedentary or that kind of thing. And honestly, I think we are too like I was too immature to choose anything. Mm. Like if back then someone told me I would be getting paid so well for uh, clicking pictures with a car or making funny reels, I would probably do that. <laughs> but back then we didn't know all this. Right. Like this influencer thing was not there that time. But it's just a matter of I think next couple few years, and then you. you <laughs> I've been waiting for it. <laughs> I've just been listening to this that yeah, we all could tell all. All could tell. Who tell? Can't be any more. No, no. But it it does happen. Like you know, thora sabar rakhenge, thora patience rakhenge na. Wait, sabar. I I know. I, it's been ten years. I joined MBBS in two thousand eleven. We are in twenty three now. It's been what, almost twelve, eleven, twelve years. Yeah, but you'll get that. everything in like 12 months trust me on that inshallah so yeah. how was the whole mbbs experience experience we were in the same college yeah. uh, i had ari bhai so i was more than happy in college <laughs> and the mbbs was great mbbs was great i had a really i still have the same bunch of friends i used to boast i know kaunar like you know <laughs> i used to do i used to do the other way no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this uh, mbbs was great we uh, first you know how in college first three four months of the new year is obviously like you know Uh, all those cultural activities, yeah. stress and everything, and the rest of the eight nine months are about studying. Hmm. And I was I used to stay in the hostel, so I had that experience. So it was a great great time. I think the best memories of life have been made. Nothing. That's what you feel. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like the, that, those those are at the top. That's not gonna change now. Hundred percent. Even best. I even I keep seeing that. Like, yeah, you know. like I could do anything to go back to those days and live it again. But that's life. But so. one high and one low point of your mbbs days which you can share with us i was passing every year constantly okay. <laughs> without a kt without a kt okay that was great that was the best thing mm. and low was i think you were caught in something some day so was which you were not a part of and you framed or whatever so that was a really i'm not naming the scenario yeah but then but later they know out that you got out of it now we look back and laugh at it But that was a really, really good point. Any special memory from college which you can share Lots. with us? But yeah, but one which none which I can share. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> one which just you know top of your mind which you remember, which you don't mind sharing. Like random things we used to do. Like I remember once my friends they didn't want to go to the salon to get a haircut. Okay. So they called up the barber. They told him that you know uh, our friend is really sick and he's unwell and he has something and he cannot get out of the bed. And he needs a haircut. This, that, and they got him to the hostel. And then fifteen people, fifteen people, fifteen <laughs> people, one after the other, got a haircut from him. And he was so like, you know, irritated. Angry? Huh? Yeah, he was angry. Yeah, but then no, but because we asked him to shut his shop and come to the hostel, yeah, but and do this and saying that you know someone is not keeping well, mm-hmm. and people were running around and doing whatever I don't know, just like but, damn random. But yeah. but uske baad did you cut with him only? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure. He must have become your friend also. Yeah, of course. So, but the uh, medical college, uh, college of Navi Mumbai, Nirul, Nirul has been like a second home. Right. मतलब सब चीज का सब fixed अपना ये चाय वो ही है दस साल से ये haircut वो ही है दस साल से ये वो ही है so that's. I'm sure he must be laughing now. Like, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. एक बीमार को बुलाए थे पंद्रह. बीमार मतलब they told him that he cannot get off the bed. Hmm. And this is what it was. This is damn random, but I think this is the only one I can share here. Uh, I wanted to ask you what advice would you like to give to you know students out there who want to make MBBS their career. They're they've still not entered first year, but they want to because now nowadays people are very sharp. They don't already decided. Don't <laughs> do not. Why in so? capital? <laughs> Why so? Because twelve years I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, mm. I think you know more more than that. We should speak about 
what advice is to be given to people who are doing MBBS or first year, second year? No, no, who who are doing MBBS or who just finished MBBS? Because because no one talks about the post MBBS phase. That's where the real thing starts. Mm. When you are preparing for your PG, that's when you start the re- questioning. The, the real grind is there. The real grind is there. No one speaks about it. That's where you hit your lowest point. That's where you realize that what are you now? Because you are outside college, but you've not entered anything else. You're That's outside the safety zone. You are out, outside your comfort zone. You are outside the safety zone. You've been left on yourself, mm-hmm. and you have mountains in front of and you. And people who told you that MB plus ke baad paisa chalu ho jayega are That's nowhere to be found. I'll tell you what happens is so you finish MBBS if everything goes on time. Mm-hmm. You finish by twenty twenty three. I think twenty three you finish your internship. Yeah, twenty three I finish my internship. Yeah. So what happens is by that time, are you by thirteen? Sorry, no, no. I'm talking about age. Acha. Twenty three. Age wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, twenty three. At twenty three, you By finish. Tw- yeah. Now the problem is you you are going to have friends who've done commerce or engineering. Engineering. <laughs> they've by the by the time they're twenty three, they are making good money. Yeah. They've either gotten into their dad's business or they've uh, started something on their own at the age of twenty one, and now it's two years since then, and they're making good money on their own, and Lot of other things like except you, every one of your age is going to be doing well. Right. Now the problem is what happens is which which happened happened with me also, and I was told the same thing which I didn't follow, but I really want this to you know tell it to other people that what happens is you are in a zone where you think that oh I need to start making money now, hmm. and I need to I and everyone knows for a fact that we are not in the frame right now, uh, we are not in the zone right now to not do a post graduation. After right. MBBS, you cannot stop at MBBS. Everyone is you have to do. Something. You have to. Don't tell me that you want to practice in a periphery. In a periphery, also there are DMs and everything. Mm. So you have to do a post graduation. But that I mean. goes without saying. So what happens is what people do is, and there are hospitals like corporate hospitals paying you good like eighty ninety thousand a month mm. after MBBS, and you know, forty eight hours, sixty hours a month a week, and they are paying good eighty nine. Now what happens is in this juggle, you don't end up studying also. You don't end up. Making money also like that eighty thousand tabi lagta hai zada. But kya hai? What is the value like? You know, ठीक है. You are not going to you are not going to grow. Right. I am not saying eighty thousand is not a good amount. Of right. course, it is a huge amount. But you are not going to grow. You are going to be there. For how long are you going to do RMO shape under someone or whatever? I am not trying to you know uh, be little that. Yeah, but I I really want to tell that don't get into this juggle. It's uncalled. It's for. a trap. It's a trap. What happens is you don't get free time. You don't get to rest. You are always either working and you think that free time I will study, karma, which never happens. You are either tired, you are stressed, or whatever. Mm. So please don't get into this. Like you know, just either either put it in your head that I am not going to do PG. I am okay with this life. I will be happy with eighty thousand, ninety thousand a month. I don't want to grow. I am good, okay with just being MBBS. Go for it. Your advice would be to do PG, right? You have to do hundred percent. That you have to decide. Say like you know. See my advice, my clear advice would be do PG for sure. After you finish your MBBS, or in fact during internship, start preparing for your NEET. Start preparing. Don't waste that time. You want to chill, chill during your MBBS days. Mm. During internship, start studying. Mm. That one or two years sitting at home doing nothing and just trying to study for NEET is the most depressing time of your life. Mm. Trust me. Because and what happens is you have a few smart friends who studied during internship and you were partying and they've gotten a seat now. So that is also again frustrating, you know. And they don't tell you. They don't tell you. Suddenly, आरे मैं तो पढ़ाई नहीं किया, मेरा rank आ गया, seat ले लिया मैं. And you are stuck with nothing. Yeah. You yeah. have your non-medical friends making money. You have your medical friends doing your post graduation, and you are stuck with nothing in your hands. Hmm. That's where the real problem starts. So please, like you know, just enjoy whatever you want to do, whatever during the PG. After that, prepare for your PG hmm. and get done with it. Right. That's yeah. quite insightful. Yeah. What's one thing you wish? You should have done more in your MBBS days. Studied. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but honestly, it was good. Like we did everything. We enjoyed. We had had a fun time. Yeah, but we like cleared without KT, so I think that was fair enough. Hmm. But and something which you should have done more. Like it could be you should have partied more or uh, play. Uh, I think I think everyone was just apt. Everything was done right. Sab barabar tha. Kuch bhi kam zada tha, toh aur problem hota. And this thing what I said right now, I should have followed this. But no one I tells start, you that. No one right? tells you. No I start, one tells you that. I was working in Lilawati as soon as I finished my uh, internship, and that's where I, it, I it, the problem started. So that's why I know. <laughs> so, like, given a chance, would you 
become a doctor again like get into mbbs don't think about the experience because i'm sure we have had a very nice undergrad experience yeah yeah 100% but if you remove the experience with like your friends would you want to become a doctor again seeing the current scenario and because you have experienced it almost 12 yeah. years now i don't think so i mean, i'm not saying i'm not happy in life yeah, yeah. but uh, probably if given an option like you're saying that you know remove the experience and everything and uh, what is happening right now around the world or the country hmm. then probably no but if not a dentist uh, a doctor an mbbs doctor what would you have been see i'll tell you the problem is na with mbbs or bds any medical field are by the problem is that you don't end up developing any other skill that's right? so true like for example if tomorrow you and me don't have a good practice god forbid we cannot you are doing a lot of things obviously so wrong, wrong example no <laughs> no <laughs> just for a normal doctor like <laughs> me who does not do anything else you do a lot of things not 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 anything that is going to get you big just, money you just posted a photo few days back which can be become your career <laughs> i really wish that that's good money <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying you so you are good at it it's just that so whatever so no no what i'm talking about is um uh, i don't like uh, maybe financial skills right or uh, so there is this but we bridge. we both are still privileged like you know yeah 100% we have a good background 100% 100%, of, 100% yeah. not behind so that. what you mean is if you don't have a good family background or family i won't be able to do any damn thing like you know koi bhi chhota business bada business kuch nahi i won't be able to, i don't know how to manage my uh this i cannot get into the stock market i, I cannot do obviously there are a lot of options right now youtube is except the jupiter but having said like you know uh, so for example if someone who's done bcom hmm. look at those guys are so smart and i feel like un logo ko aisa lagta hai ki bhai ye doctor hai mujhe un logo ko dekhne lage bhai he knows so much yes. like he can go around and do everything he wants out there like you know he can probably start a business of his own he can probably merge with some company he can probably have a startup and he can he all these influencers and influencers and all they are so smooth so creative i have zero creativity zara look at zara mm. she's doing so well mm. i'm so happy for her. like you know i i keep telling her that please tell me how to find something uh, you know some skill that i have which i'm not aware about or i don't so, yeah it may be you know you have not uh, explored that probably I don't know. You have that in you, and you have. I really hope. But but uh, I completely uh, agree with you on that. Is that the business side is like, not there? Is not taught in medicine. Yeah. For example, you become a doctor, but then how do you become a successful doctor? It's just not going to be your clinical practice. That's a major chunk. Yes, but then how do you manage patients? How do you manage a clinic? Uh, that's not taught to us in dentistry. Also, hundred percent. How do you? the financing part and then martial uh, arts exactly <laughs> <laughs> i think we you can include that yeah. like you know like it should a, be a part of the curriculum like now. like how they uh, include yeah, yoga now yeah. you can incorporate martial yeah. arts into i think more than mental health it's physical health that but, is but that is something which is uh, lacking in the medicine field yeah you I, become I doc- yeah, you do I become understand doc- that there is no time for it there is no time that you can have one more subject i totally understand except that i'm just saying that you know one drawback if you ask me about this field right is that you're not good at anything else Probably. but but you have to become an entrepreneur you need to know a lot in in today's world i'm so so i'll give you the best example now that you're doing all this hmm. i'm 100% sure it was very difficult for you to you know start something like this yes or no yes because th- because uh, we were not taught any of this not taught right all you like you said i, I think during covid you developed you bent out and look for how to go about it how to do it that's because you got the time in covid yeah true if you ask me in the past 12 years i have not gotten that time to do anything i want to because covid was the time where i actually stopped studying that Correct. was the first time that was so i was doing this all is, this this courses. is exactly what i'm trying to say that you know you don't get that window to do something new probably <laughs> after your team but again like once you finish dnb you'll again have a Pressure to do either fellowship or, or start my practice or do something. By the COVID, then, I had my uh, exam pending, so I had that pressure. I'm not saying that I did not have time or something like that. Of course, you need to take time out. It's not given to you. I agree. I totally agree. But I'm just saying that a normal life of a, a medical profession is very. It's like not so easy. Like you know, you're caught up every time. The outside world thinks, "Are you a doctor? Or your I mean, life ah, work must go." Ah, I mean. Like, so difficult to uh, yeah, now that i've just said ha ah, bahut mast hai i'll do it <laughs> also you forgot the most important factor which will gonna come in a life because ek baar puri padhai ho bhi gayi then the marriage factor will come oh, and the then only <laughs> thing that i'm happy about and i'm still studying is that no one is asking me about that 
<laughs> because the moment you finish you will be it will happen right after happen no no that's nothing no, about it but what i mean is you won't get active time to like you know that's like t- take a that's sp- that's my whole point that i'm trying to say that you know you don't really get time to you know uh, do something or develop a new skill obviously i have friends who were well, like uh, who are brilliant singers and all that so aisa jisko time nikalna to nikal lete wo bhi hai but i'm just talking about the aspect that you know you cannot do any other thing like a different business hmm. after you've been in a middle right right having said that i have a lot of friends who are doing like you know different things hmm. but just normal i'm talking about normal this got it yeah. you did a schooling in chiplun yeah so how was it like you know growing up in chiplun yeah. and just how great. was i i really love that life like now also yeah. like now also i keep going back hmm. love this time i didn't get the time but generally i make sure that i go there in every 3 4 months so that's a hometown right that's yeah. my hometown my parents stay there the festivities the uh, the culture religious religious gra- gatherings huros everything I, i love it like we used to go randomly fishing and all used to play and all that that was a different life i just love it and i keep going back to it mm-hmm. yeah, honestly even my friends uh, best of my friends they also like it so once in a while when we have the time we just go it's a place where you can enjoy life yeah yeah mm-hmm. you don't need anything to enjoy mm-hmm. it's just the it's close to nature kind of thing how was the transition you know going from chiplun uh, to coming to bombay and it was a like transition but the thing was that you know my uh, uh, rest of my family was always here yeah so every time we used to like when we were doing our school summer like, holidays yeah holiday. every time like every 2 3 months we were here so it was quite smooth so it was quite smooth like i already had my family uh, house was there was sort of it was very smooth but yeah that transition was somewhere like you know getting used to the city life was a bit different but theek hai i think i enjoyed now like now i can keep going back to the village but i don't think i can settle down there hmm. unless what we spoke about <laughs> yeah so cuz i was going to ask you like yeah. i don't know in the f- near future do you plan to like you know say it not full time but like as a cuz like, that that's a place which needs attention and uh, yeah probably i don't know I, i don't know i'm really up for whatever <laughs> right now not planning anything the reason why i'm doing all this dnb i think I, i think we'll see you soon there i know Uh, probably we can have, full t- yeah. yeah probably we can have like a, a twice a week thing yeah there. since we also from there yeah. you know how it is and it, it's close to goa also so it's close to goa yeah that's <laughs> the only good thing we come to a last part that's the rapid fire section okay and i ask you question and you have to answer as fast as possible do i got a gift hamper <laughs> yes it's there it's there when you come to your <laughs> kokan <laughs> yeah okay we'll start so what's your favorite mbbs posting surgery jello surgery John surgery and why? Because I like surgery. Like you know, uh, I told you. I you like blood and yeah, yeah. I love I love the OT and that whole thing. That I love general surgery. One thing you also because uh, do we have time or yeah. do I go fast? No, you can. So all yours. This this oh this this experience I really want to share. So uh, I was in my second year. Okay. I was posted in that's just when the clinical posting start and I was posted in my uh, this gynec. Kainak is very annoying posting to attend. You know why? And uh, so, uske baju mein there was the CVTS OT, hmm. cardiology. Hmm. And uh, I entered at eight or nine in the morning for my Kainak postings. Okay. Empty stomach, just woken up from sleep, probably showered or not. And in the OT at eight thirty nine, hmm. medical student just started touching the hospital. Second year posting start. Right. Excited, nervous, everything. and uh, this was uh, my gynec ot and right next to it was the cvts ot okay so i just spoke to you know how i am just speak to anyone i spoke to someone there some like mama moshi or someone and then i found out that there was some open heart uh, there was some bypass surgery that was going to happen there okay so i just told my friends that i'll come in 2 minutes and somehow i managed to get into that ot the okay. cardiology ot and then sir james thomas i'm sure you heard his yeah, name of course CVTS. He was there, and I went and I spoke to him. Mm. He was like, I I started talking to him, and he realized that this guy was interested and all, and uh, he spoke to me for five But minutes. Did he know you are a second year student? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, okay. of course. I introduced myself that you know I'm saying I still have his card in my wallet. This was I think ten years ago, and I entered the OTI. I spoke to him, and he was damn sweet. And while I was talking to him, he went like, uh, "Okay, go wash up." You know what a wash up is, right? Yeah. You're yeah. going to be a part of the team now. Surgery. Yeah. I was like, what? I probably didn't even know how to wash up that time. Mm. And I was like, what? 
I just could not believe what is happening, and uh, and this this come down to why I like surgery, and then uh, I washed up and I went, and he made me stand next to him like before the first assistant surgeon. Wow. And this is my second year of MBBS. Mm. This is the first time I've come to an OT, and this is what I get. Mm. He he was so happy to show me everything. Mm. He opened the thorax and he's like, "Look at that beating heart. Touch it if you want." Can Touch you imagine? It? Of course, <laughs> of course. And imagine like you know, first day of your clinical posting, and you're getting to see a open heart surgery bypass mm. and everything. He showed me all the OT this that, and you won't believe it. It was a bypass. It was a grafting, and jo uh, the sutures that are to be given on the legs, he asked me to do it. He asked us. Surgeon to teach me how to do it, and he asked me to do it, and I was mind blown. Like I didn't know how to deal with what is happening with me. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was too overwhelming. Your like, friends must be yeah, so jealous. So of- jealous, and imagine I entered at nine. I got out at five o'clock in the evening from the OT. So they were not finding you from. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, nine to five, I had gone like empty stomach, nothing, thinking that चलाले घंटे का posting है खत्म करके attendance देके आ जाएंगे. बराबर. And this went on till five o'clock, and this was the happiest day of my life. Sorry, I forgot. I don't know how I forgot. This, this is the best thing I could tell you. And wow. yeah, so I was so excited, and I. And that stays with you. That stays with you. I am telling you, I still have his card in my wallet. One thousand times I've changed my wallet after that. I've made sure that card is there. So, and that is very important. Medicine, so for example, tomorrow you do something major, yeah. and a junior comes to you. Yeah. You pass it on to them. Yeah, like, like yeah, oh, I didn't do a bit, but for me, just he let me touch that experience of his. It was the biggest thing. Was the way. biggest thing for me. Yeah. Like you know, I don't know how to explain, and it was. All you told, like, crazy, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, your all-time favorite movie? Movie. Welcome. अच्छा. Welcome. ना. Selling है थोड़ा. पूरा movie बाहर है. अभी बैठ के I can tell you the whole movie. We'll keep a podcast for that. For hundred percent. For the hundred percent. For the welcome dialogues. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Actually, like you said, selling है थोड़ा. You can actually make memes which are valid in medicine also. Of course, of course. ये किस line में आ गया? Up for you. Your favorite medical instrument? Ah, uh, now stethoscope. I know it's a very dumb question, but why stethoscope? It Because on such a hill branch, you don't have any other instruments. Pen, stethoscope, paper. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. One Or thing you laryngoscope. Laryngoscope. One thing you miss about Chiplun the most when you are in Mumbai or Kolkata? I don't know. Like just being close to the nature and the food there, the weddings there, hmm. the damn good fun. Like a different kind of fun. But the weddings there. That's the thing is, all of my friends. All the functions before the weddings, like, yeah. Do you have chai pan and all? Yeah, of course. It's a Kokni thing. Yeah. How can we not have it? No, I I, I go to a lot, a uh, few weddings in Bombay. They don't have chai pan. I'm like, what? You don't have chai <laughs> pan? I'm getting married without a chai pan. <laughs> your favorite place to have chai? Tirupati. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Tirupati is in Nirul, by the way. Yeah. The day I came back, I went and had chai. That guy also knows. He sees. He's like, "Kabi aikal katta se." That's how it is. <laughs> He must be bragging about you to his customers. Like, "Mera no, customer." No, the thing is, the thing is that uh, owners have changed two, three times. Acha. So this is the recent owner, like after COVID. Acha. But the initial one knew us quite well. Hmm. मतलब वो होता है ना कि जाके order बोलना नहीं पड़ता है. चेहरा दिख रहा है तो order आ जाएगा. वैसा. One thing you wish to, ch- I know you've answered this, but again, one thing you wish to change in the medicine scene in India. Don't want to be worried about. Other things. I want to focus on my treatment. Hmm. I want to focus on my work. Hmm. I want to focus on my skills. I don't want to be worried about getting beaten up hmm. or having to justify why I've written this. Or uh, no, that is actually fine. Having to justify what I've written is fine. Not being worried about getting beaten up and not being worried about getting into problems which are not my problem. Right. And which are not because of me or for me. Hmm. This really makes sense. Yeah. Change. This really needs to change. Hmm. Who's your inspiration today? Honestly, it's Chachu, but. Because what he is doing, I'm not sure if I want to do that, like developmental pediatrics. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if I can say that he's an inspiration. But otherwise, like a doctor, like a, a person, like how, a role model, like yeah. a role model, definitely. Like you know how he's good at everything he does. Mm. It's too far fetched for me to look at it. Mm. But yeah, I wish I could reach that point someday. Best advice you have received in medicine? Uh, I think the best advice would have been don't do it, but I didn't receive it. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, best advice. Enjoy where you are. Like you know, don't think about कल मेरा प्रैक्टिस चलेगा नहीं चलेगा कल मेरे पास पेशेंट होगा नहीं होगा कल मेरा पी जी होगा नहीं होगा कल मैं पी जी पास करूँगा नहीं करूँगा एम बी बी एस पास जिस जिस पी वैर यू आ 
mm-hmm. and it took me a lot of time to accept it mm-hmm. the earlier you do it the happier you are like i said before don't try to make money when you're doing mbbs it just unless you are like someone really who can focus on a lot of things and multitask don't do it you just not enjoying this or that focus on today focus on today enjoy where you are it's going to take time it's going to be long and i don't know still if i can say it, it's going to be great but i hope so it's going to be great it's a journey it's a journey yeah, like yeah. like that's what don't stress about you know okay kya q kaise chal raha hai sahi lo thoda we end with that so yeah. <laughs> thank you dr kamran thank for you so much for having me time because It's a limited time you have in Bombay. No, no, I am so sorry. And, I have bothered uh, you, and you know, you. Yeah, you. for people who don't know, he was supposed to be in the first season I'm and really the sorry. first guest. I am really sorry fine. about it. I'm really, yeah. I really wanted to do it, but it was just not happening. No, it's it completely yeah. understandable. A few yeah. things you, you know, you have to understand when, when you know the other person is doing MBBS as a doctor. No, yeah. not just about that. I am not saying that MBBS is right. You know how close we are. Otherwise, so that would have been my first priority. The thing is that things kept on happening so right. fast. the exit exam this that covid and then going to calcutta so it just never worked it out. was not meant to happen that time yeah probably it was meant to happen today yeah, so i'm so glad like thank you we're going to again have you soon and on a different podcast with different yeah, yeah, more more people more so. topics i hope so and lighter topics yeah and something what you're passionate about so yeah definitely thank you for your time thank you thank we'll you so much for having me soon hope to see you soon yes thank you we'll end it here yes tan One hour, five minutes. One hour, yeah. Actually, पता नहीं चलता.